Okay guys, I did it. This will probably be the longest video I ever make, but let's benchmark all of my GPUs in the COD beta because that's what you guys seem to want. So anyway, you're gonna see an RTX 3050, 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, 3070 Ti, and 3080 12 gigabyte. I don't have a 3090 or 3090 Ti. From AMD, you're gonna see a 6600, 6600 XT, 6700 XT, 6800, and 6800 XT. I don't have a 6900 or any of the 50 little upgrades things uh, that they released later on. So that's what we've got for you today. And all of them are being tested on R9 5950X with 32 gigabytes of 3600 CL 16 memory with smart access memory and resizable bar enabled on the system for anywhere that that does help. Now I will mention that a few of these videos were already recorded and released separately until I realized that you guys just wanted to see all the GPUs. I actually had time. I'm exhausted now, but I did have time. Anyway, so some of those are the same, like the 3080 video is going to be the same, right? The 6700 XT video is going to be the same, but all the rest of them. And some of these were recorded thinking I'd release them separately. So if I say things that sound like that, there you go. That's why. And anyway, let's just go jump into all of the benchmarks. I'll try to timestamp things, at least by the GPU and the resolution, uh, but I probably won't be able to do every single individual graphic setting as a timestamp or, you know, YouTube would probably tell me I'm running out of space in my video description. Maybe Maybe you guys can timestamp individual GPUs and settings and whatnot in the comment section if you feel like it. And uh, I don't know, we'll see how this video goes. I've never done a video quite this extensive. <laughs> Whatever, we'll see what happens. I do try out to do all of the different graphic settings at 1080p, 1440p, and 4K um, as much as possible within one round of invasion mode, which is what I was testing out uh, to keep things consistent. Although the map does change sometimes, guys, I, I barely had time to put together the video as is. So we at least kept it to invasion mode to keep it as consistent as possible. Let's hop into the bench. Marks. All right, so this is the 6800 XT. I think I've got it on 4K max, but let's go ahead and double check that before we go any further. There's the 4K, there's the 6800 XT. Extreme settings and FSR image scaling and all that is off. Let's go ahead and play on this a little bit. Looks like we are in the 60 to 80 FPS range, depending on what is going on on the screen. And I think there was a sniper trying to get me over there. So let's see if we can close the distance on him a little bit. This is the invasion mode. I'm gonna be testing all these GPUs on invasion mode since that's what I started with. Oof, there we go. All right, on deaths, we're gonna go ahead and switch up some graphics settings. So let's drop on down to the ultra setting at 4k so 4k native ultra settings i haven't been noticing a huge difference in ultra settings um, to extreme settings in terms of performance so there's that looks like this game had already started when it dropped me into it got that guy all right can we find another one there's a guy. That was a uh, bot. Is this a bot? That's a bot. Is that a bot? That's a bot. That's a teammate, I think. Alright. Um, there's a whole bunch of maybe bots. That one was. That one was. That one was. Ah, is that a real person? Yeah. The real players are, you know, harder to kill for some reason. <laughs> Let's go down to the balanced setting. And there we go. Now we're up in the 90 FPS-ish type range. So for 4K, that seems pretty good. This is the Asus Tough cooler on my 6800 XT. And it's running at its stock settings, which I, th I think might be slightly overclocked compared to the reference specs, if you had a reference 6800 XT. I think there's an enemy here. Ah, snipers. This must be a real enemy. He's like crouching and stuff. That one's a bot, but... There he is. Found him, guys. We found him. All right, let's go ahead and go down to the basic settings. 
All right, basic settings at 4K. That was a real player. And again, up in the upper 80s to 90s, depending on what's happening, seems like. You know? Uh, yeah, performance seems good. In just a second, we'll try some upscaling at 4K before we drop down to 1440p. That's ah, teammate. That was probably a real player. All right, so let's go ahead and say, what if we wanted higher refresh rate? So let's stay at basic, then kick on AMD FSR to the ultra quality setting. Yeah, it looks like we're now pushing uh, 110 to 120 FPS range, kind of. Which for 4K is pretty good, and the FSR 1.0, it, it's a shame this game only has the 1.0 version rather than the 2.0 version. But, um, FSR 1.0 at ultra quality does look pretty good, especially at 4K, and especially at, um, in a competitive game, where you're not so obsessed over the details, and anyway, we'll go down to the quality setting, where the, thi you know, things don't look quite as good, but we're now up around 130 to 150 FPS, it looks like. So plenty fast, and this game, at least in invasion mode, does seem to CPU bottleneck um, around that 150 to 180 FPS range anyway, it seems like. So we're pushing into about as fast as you'd need to go anyway. Is that an enemy? Yeah. That was an enemy as well. All right, I don't think... Um, makes much sense to go past balanced, but we'll, we'll at least try out the balanced mode. All right, hey, we were around 150 FPS before the bomb came in. You know what, let's go ahead and try out the performance upscaling, which I think is gonna look not great, but hey, at least we're up around 150 to 170 FPS, and you can see the GPU utilization. Um, that teammate I thought was shooting at me. What was that? Anyway, uh, we can see that we're coming in with this slight uh, CPU bottleneck now. The GPU usage is dropping to the lower 90% range uh, instead of the upper 90% range. So this is about as fast as the uh, R9 5950X and 32 gigabytes of 3200CL16 memory seem to be able to handle in invasion mode in this game. And... Um, is that like gas or something? I don't understand Call of Duty, so... You know, for a competitive game, the uh, performance upscale here, honestly, could be worse. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, as far as how it looks, so there you go. Let's go ahead and adjust down to 1440p. So, 1440p, but we're gonna want to turn everything back up. Let's go back to the extreme settings and turn FSR off. So extreme settings, FSR off, native 1440p. And we are 110 to 120 FPS looks like. which for maxed out native 1440p, I think is pretty dang good. That's an enemy, right? Oh, I think there's a bad guy over here. Got him. If you're wondering like why am I not playing Ground War, uh, when I started testing out the GPUs, they didn't have it. There was only invasion that I could see. So I'm trying to be consistent between the GPUs. All right, wait, we forgot to change the settings. I was busy playing the game. All right, let's go ahead and drop down to the ultra settings. How much time do we have left here? A little bit. All right, so ultra settings, native 1440p. as fast as I can sprint. I 
think there was a bad guy over there. Enemies. All right, let's go ahead and drop the settings one more time. Let's go down to the balance settings. Spawning in with balance settings. FPS was a bit lower there because I think there was more going on in the scene. Without the vehicle driving by, we're up into the 130s, 140s range. Oh no, guys, the enemy took the lead. I might lose. Can't have that. All right, let's go ahead and switch this down again. We'll go down to the basic settings. All right, up into the 130s to, uh, you know, 140s and above range, it looks like. Let's see if we can find some enemies here. There's one. I forget what my grenade button is. I keep wanting to press G, but I think it's E. Broke somebody's armor. That guy's no good. Is that a flash? I don't know. Ah! Apparently I had to reload. <laughs> All right, that gives us an excuse to turn things down a bit. By the way, I'm not going down to minimum because it resolution scales, so it's not native. If for resolution scaling, I'm gonna use FSR, so we're gonna go to FSR Ultra Quality at the basic settings at 1440p. And now, I think for people looking for competitive performance, we have now maxed out my CPU. You can see that the GPU is dropping down into the lower 90 to upper 80% range which means we are now reaching a CPU limit. You might be like, why is the CPU not reporting a 100% if the CPU is the limit? Well, if a single thread of the CPU is the limiting factor of your performance in the game, you become CPU limited, regardless of um, whether it's using 100% of your CPU cores. This is a 16 thread 32, uh, sorry, 16 core 32 thread CPU, so there is almost zero games, I think actually just zero games that can actually max it out. Um, despite the fact that it will become the limit at times. And so I think that means it's time to drop down to 1080p. So let's try out 1080p. And I think it would make sense to do that at the maximum settings and see if uh, we need to turn anything down from that point or not. So maximum settings, FSR is off, 1080p resolution. Let's roll. So yeah, 1080p, we seem to be up around almost 160 FPS. Down to the 140s, depending on what's happening on screen, it looks like. That was a real player. Now I'm dead, so we're gonna go ahead and try turning the settings down a little bit. Go down to Ultra. How much time? Looks like the game's almost over, so we'll see how many how many settings we can play around with here. <laughs> Looking like we're already kind of at a CPU limit. It's it's pretty close, pretty balanced here, but there's an enemy. They got me. All right, we might have time to test out a lower setting. Let's go down to balanced. So balanced native 1080p, that looks like an enemy. That was a real player too. Hey, did I just win the game? Look, we won the game. All right. Oh, a little flickered right there on the victory screen. That's weird. All right, starting up a round of invasion. And this is, well, let's just show it to you. 
This is 4K. This is the RX 6800 non-XT version at the extreme preset with upscaling turned off at the moment. So this is native 4K extreme, so maximum settings. And we are hanging out right around 60 FPS. Not that we never see a dip below that, but we also go above it a bit. So I'd say our average at least is probably around 60 FPS, which is great in single player titles, but probably not what we'd be targeting on this GPU. Once again, this is the invasion mode. That's what I'm testing out all the GPUs on because that's what I started testing them on. And it makes sense to uh, keep doing that consistently in case there's differences between the game modes. Let's go ahead and drop down to the ultra settings, but still at the native 4K resolution on the 6800. Let's see if we're more consistently above 60 FPS now. Maybe you have a 4K 60 Hertz monitor, so that's what you're targeting here. People be like, why would you have a 4K 60 Hertz monitor and play a shooter game? You know, sometimes people buy their monitor to play other, a variety of games and play shooters as well as single player games, you know? Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and test out the balance settings. What is Battle Rage? I can press X and use it, but I don't know what it is. I keep trying it every now and then as I test out these GPUs, and it seems like my guy huffs some fumes of something, but what does it do? <laughs> what does it actually do? I could probably look in a menu somewhere, but you know what? Why would we want to do that? All right, we seem well above 60 FPS now. That was like really terrible aiming on my part. How embarrassing. I was looking at my frame rate counter. That, that's the excuse I'm going with and I'm sticking to it. Let's go down to the basic settings. All right, basic settings, 4K resolution. And can I just comment on how little impact the um, graphic settings actually have on performance? Like it's not nothing, but remember at the maximum settings, we were around the like, you know, 58 FPS to, to mid 60s range. Now we're like, low 60s to low 80s, depending on exactly what's happening in the scene. What is this? It changes my loadout. Ah, let's just stick to it. Well, there's an enemy. All right. Um, so that's already down to basic. So before we switch off of 4K, let's go ahead and try out a little bit of FSR. Here's the ultra quality. So ultra quality FSR 1.0. This game does not feature 2.0. It would be nice, they have DLSS 2, so it seems like it would be easy to implement FSR 2. Maybe we'll get it in the final release, who knows. <clears throat> Modders can usually add FSR 2.0 to games that don't have it if they have DLSS, but that could uh, trigger the anti-cheat in a competitive game. I don't actually know it would, but I also don't know it wouldn't. <laughs> if you're modifying game files, that's the kind of thing that an anti-cheat system might flag as an issue, so hey, let's go ahead and try out FSR down to the quality setting. FSR quality at 4K, you can certainly tell there's an upscale happening, but it doesn't look terrible, especially for a competitive game where you're trying to go for frame rates. And it's looking like it's getting us around the 120 FPS mark, which is really nice if you're like me playing on a LG C1 OLED, which is 4K 120 Hertz with variable refresh rate. And honestly, this feels quite good right now. See some various enemies in there. Mowing down the bots. I'm the bot, call me Bot Slayer 5000, you know? Is that a real player? Maybe? Eh. You know what? Let's change the graphic settings. Let's go ahead and go down to the balanced FSR 1.0 mode. Vehicles certainly seem to bring the frame rate down a little bit. All right, and let's go ahead and test out performance mode. All right, now it is looking like we are in the 150 to 160 range. That tends to be about as far as my CPU can go, although right now it is still looking 
like the GPU is being maxed out at around 98%. So not exactly a CPU limit, but I don't think my CPU could go much further than this. Did I already say R9 5950X? 32 gigabytes of 3600 CL16 RAM. <laughs> All right, are there any enemies? There's an enemy. All right, I think it's time to drop this thing down to 1440p, which is honestly, I think, where more people would actually be using this GPU. So 1440p, let's go back to the settings, kick them all the way up to extreme again, and turn off FSR. So maximum settings at 1440p on the RX 6800 non-XT. Did I mention it's the Asus, no, not Asus, this is the Power Color Red Dragon, and I'm running at it, it's out of the box settings. Um, so I believe it might have some sort of small overclock or something compared to the reference model. I'm not 100% sure. Feel free to look it up. <laughs> the cooling on this seems good. We're sitting here at 59 degrees. Wait, I forgot to drop settings. I died. Time to drop settings. Down to ultra. Here we go. All right, 1440p ultra settings. It's a vehicle. Are they running to the vehicle? There's a guy in that gas station. This does not seem to be the most long range of weapons, though, so we're gonna... There, I got that one. Where am I getting shot from? You know, maybe by the end of testing out all these GPUs, I'll actually know how to play Call of Duty, except... I probably won't. <laughs> so I still don't know what all the items are and perks and whatnot. I'm just using the basic class thing and not paying any attention. Let's go down to balanced. So 1440p native balance settings. Are we gonna, oh, I pushed the wrong button. I was trying to get in the vehicle, but apparently E is grenade, not inter vehicle, so. Now you know. Killed their gunner at least, that's good. All right, are there, uh, are there enemies? There's a guy, that was a real guy. All right. Ah, got ran over. Good chance to change the graphic settings. Let's go ahead and drop down to the basic settings. We're doing on time here. Bad guys. More bad guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Bots. <laughs> Let's see. Felt like there were enemies up this way, right? There's some. Mm. We're flashed. Get down. Not safe. That's a real player, not a bot. We're gonna try changing graphic settings. This guy's gonna kill me while I do it. That's okay. So we're at basic. So let's go ahead and kick on the FSR now to the ultra quality setting. So we are now at Basic settings, FSR ultra quality at 1440p. And I think we're getting some frame rates about as high as I think my CPU will let us go for the most part. Bouncing between the mid 130s up into the mid 160s it looks like. Depending on what's happening on screen. There we go. Some guys up on the hill. All right, let's go ahead and switch it down to FSR quality. And 
I think we're more consistently up in the 150s to 160s now. Seems like fewer times dipping down below that. Guy. Need to reload. All right, let's go ahead and try out FSR balanced. So FSR balanced basic settings. And you can now see that we have reached the CPU limit because my GPU is no longer pegged at around 98% utilization. You can tell that my CPU is now unable to feed it frames. means that on the next death here, we're going to go ahead and pop on over to 1080p. Hey, I'm actually second place on my team while I'm benchmarking. Look at me go. I'm a Call of Duty player, Mom. All right. We're out of ammo. There it goes. All right, now we're going down to 1080p. And we're going to go ahead and kick it up to the extreme settings with FSR turned off. Triple kill, look at me go. They got me. Let's go ahead and drop those settings a little bit down to ultra. So 1080p ultra up in the 140s, 130s. It's really as fast as I can run. Let's see. Is that somebody sniping up there or something? I can't tell. Lots of smoke. It's an enemy. All right, there's my excuse to change the settings. Ultra, down to balance. So balance settings, 1080p. I think we're gonna have enough time to finish it out here. Get ourselves some. Wait, that would be a loadout. I don't, I don't want to switch my loadout. I'm just using the default assault loadout that the game just has built in, hoping for the best. All right, let's go ahead and switch it up down to the basic settings at 1080p native. like 130s, 140s, 150s. Still doesn't look like a CPU limitation. Too many snipers there. All right, so um, since there is still time left in the game, we're gonna make things look really ugly and go down to the uh, FSR ultra quality settings at Guess we didn't have time. <laughs> didn't really want to use FSR at 1080p anyway. All right, so this is the RX 6700 XT. Looks like it had me just join a game in progress. And this is the invasion mode. Currently we're at the extreme preset at 1440p. Let me go ahead and show that to you and double check I'm actually correct. Yep, 1440p. And we are at the extreme preset. So far, no upscaling or anything like that. We'll test that out. We'll also test out 1080p, maybe even a little time for some 4K at the end. We'll see what happens. All right. 
So it looks like at the extreme preset, which if you watched my RTX 3080 video, you'll notice I forgot to test because apparently you have to scroll down in the little like graphics preset setting menu uh, to get there. I think these are bots. Those are bots. Anyway, I just didn't even notice it. <laughs> but there is an extreme preset. We're looking at it here. And let's go ahead and actually switch off of the extreme preset and test out the ultra settings. Looks like I'm probably getting shot while I switch the settings up. That is the life of, uh, you know, benchmarking the game while you're trying to play it. All right. So adjusting the graphics settings in this game, it certainly does gain you back some performance, but I haven't noticed it be a absolute massive amount. I really do think that image upscaling in this game, if you're really looking for high frame rates, is actually the way to go. Although the, um, you know, turning down graphic settings as well also works. Just seems like they don't give you quite as much of a frame rate boost by turning them down as you might get in some other games. Let's go ahead and drop it down to the balance settings as we saw that the ultra settings were slightly better than the extreme performance wise, but not by a whole lot. Going down to the balance setting, we do seem to get a little bit more. Is that not an enemy? I didn't see a blue dot. Oh, there's the blue dot. Anyway, enemy parachuting to the roof, I think. So now we're up around 100 FPS, which for me, who's not like ultra competitive, especially at, uh, you know, Call of Duty, I'm kind of fine with. I know a lot of people would want more. Okay, we'll go down just a little bit further here. We'll go down to the basic settings. And again, not a massive difference. We're still kind of hanging out around that 100 FPS a little bit more. Certainly a slightly higher frame rate than we had at the uh, balance settings, but I wouldn't consider it a massive difference or anything like that. I think I saw an enemy running around in there. Vehicle. Oof. All right, now if you go down to the minimum settings, the minimum settings certainly do offer a better frame rate, but look how bad it looks. It's because they go down to a render resolution of 50% and they're not even using FSR or NIS or any kind of fancy uh, <laughs> upscaling technology. It's really a particularly ugly looking upscale that we're getting here, so there we go. Frame rates are nice and high, though. You can actually see that the GPU utilization isn't 100% anymore, which means that we are now running into a CPU limit because the settings and resolution have turned down so low that we're running into a CPU uh, limitation because we've taken enough load off of the GPU. Now, if we go back to the basic settings, which look a lot better, but then turn on FSR to like the ultra quality setting, I think that while the frame rates aren't quite as high, it's certainly a much better looking experience. And honestly, when the render resolution is low enough, you could even miss some distant enemies and things like that because it's so blurry. Whereas FSR at the ultra quality setting still looks fairly good. I might not use it in like a beautiful single player game, but in a uh, you know more competitive shooter like this, I, th I think it looks good enough and gains us some significant frame rate here. Still at frame rates where my uh, GPU is the limit. The CPU here, if I didn't mention it yet, is an R9 5950X. And the uh, RAM is 32 gigabytes of 3600 CL16 memory. Should probably reload. Maybe we should get the high ground. It's all over if I get the high ground, guys. Staring at the sky with nothing happening, our frame rate sure uh, jumped up pretty good. And I've got the high ground. And those are bots. I don't. Seems like there's not a whole heck of a lot of actual enemies. <laughs> there's one. 
All right, and we could also turn down to the quality FSR upscaling mode, and you'll see even higher frame rates now. The quality setting looks okay, but the upscale, the fact that you're not really running at 1440p is a lot more obvious than it is when using the ultra quality setting. So there's that. There's an enemy. Oh, but something, something blew me up. Interesting. All right, why don't we go ahead and say, what if we were playing at 1080p? So if we jump down to 1080p, and we go ahead and turn the settings back up to extreme and turn FSR off for the moment. So maxed out extreme settings at 1080p. We are over 100 FPS, well over 100 FPS, at least in this scene. And I really think the 6700 XT is an interesting choice for 1080p right now because its price has come down a lot recently. And while it was certainly more of a 1440p card, and still is a decent 1440p card, don't get me wrong, if you're looking for a high refresh rate experience at 1080p, you know, last gen's 1440p card is a uh, very good, you know, 1080p card still, even as we move into newer GPUs and all that. Is that an enemy there? Yeah. Ah. Let's push on in here. Oh, he was hiding. Hiding's cheating, guys. That gives us a good chance to uh, turn down the settings. Let's go down to the ultra settings. And as noted at 1440p, it doesn't seem like there's a massive difference between the extreme and the ultra presets performance-wise. Certainly a bit higher at ultra, but nothing too extreme. Got him. Flashing, I guess. Is that a flash? I don't even know. All right, there's an enemy. So many bots in this mode. Anyway, let's go ahead and switch down to the balance settings. Again, 1080p, balanced, no upscaling, so native 1080p. And we're in the mid 130-ish FPS range. We played out a little bit longer at these settings since that one didn't last too long. Well, there isn't much time left in here, so I better speed it up. That's an enemy. Got him. All right. Let's go ahead and switch the settings again down to the basic settings at 1080p. That's an enemy up on that roof. Yeah, that's a teammate. That's not a teammate. Okay. All right, so the other thing we could do is look at if we really wanted to kick on high FPS mode. Let's go to ultra quality at the basic settings. So this is now rendering a little below 1080p and upscaling using FSR. It does have an, uh, a sharpening slider you can adjust here on the FSR, by the way, if you wanted a sharper looking image. I think there's an enemy up there. Eh, where am I getting hit from? guy in the thing. Can I get the guy in the thing? Did they already get the guy in the thing? 
All right, so very high FPS, certainly available. You know what, just for fun, let's go ahead and kick this on to 4K resolution. Not that I expect many people to be buying the 6700 XT to play competitive shooting uh, games at, um, you know, 4K resolution. <laughs> let's try maxing this thing out at 4K just for fun. So 4K extreme, FSR off. You know what, if it was a single player game, this is somewhat playable, although I'd still probably turn down settings. This is not the frame rate I'd be looking for in a multiplayer shooter, so let's go ahead and why don't we kick it down to the balance settings and see what happens. So balance settings, this is native 4K. You know what, it's not quite 60 FPS, but it's not terrible. There's a lot going on in this scene as well. Let's go ahead and kick on FSR to the ultra quality setting with the graphic settings at balanced. Oh, we hit the end of the game, so we'll, we'll end it there. I think this card did pretty well here. I hope all of you have an excellent day. All right, so we are on the RX 6600 XT version this time. We're starting out at 1440p. We'll try out 1080p and 4K if there's time. And we're on the uh, extreme quality settings. FSR is currently turned off. So basically we are at maximum settings at 1440p. This is the invasion game mode, since that's what I'm testing all the GPUs out at. And let's go ahead and jump in here. Looks like in the foliage here, we're dropping down into the 50 uh, FPS range. But out of that foliage, we seem to be back up into the mid 60s. So looking like maxing out, um, Got what I was saying. Maxing out 1440p here seems like a thing we could do, although in a competitive shooter, you're definitely gonna usually want to be targeting higher frame rates than this. Speaking of which, let's turn down to the ultra settings and see what happens. So, ultra settings. Looks like we're now 60s to 70s. It's a little bit higher, as I've seen on the other GPUs. It does not seem like dropping down from extreme to ultra has a particularly uh, large impact on frame rate. Gains you a little bit, not a whole lot. All right, can we get him? He's gone, where'd he go? Got him. Got him. That was a bot, though. Got him. That was a bot, though. That's a teammate. Who was shooting me, then? Who was shooting me? Got him. Now, I do think this is really a GPU that is best utilized at 1080p. But, as we're seeing here, it's certainly doing fine at 1440p. Lots of bots. Ran out of bullets. Too many bots. All right, let's go down to the balance settings. So balance settings, 1440p native. We are around the 80 FPS range. I hear an enemy, but I don't see him. And he got me. Let's go ahead and drop down to the basic settings. All right, basic settings, native 1080p. Going through this foliage, which tanked us at the extreme settings, seems to be doing a lot better. We're still saying above 60 FPS now at the basic settings, so that's a, that's something, I guess. But again, I probably keep saying it in this video because you're you might be watching these back to back. My plan right now is to splice all these into a single video, but <laughs> I don't know. I haven't actually done it and uploaded the video yet, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, seems like adjusting the graphic settings only does so much here. Ah. 
find some more enemies. Ah! Did somebody steal my kill or something? I feel like I should have had that guy. All right, we're down to basic already, so now we're gonna go on to FSR. So let's kick on FSR Ultra Quality. And as you can see, the upscaling seems to have a much larger impact on our performance than the graphic settings did, with us now nicely over 100 FPS. Got him. Apparently that was an enemy. Okay. Assist. Ah. Okay, let's kick the FSR down to quality. So we're running, rendering the game at below 1440p. So FSR quality, basic settings. Another little bump to performance. Hundred and fifteen or so. Bot vehicle. Hmm. Is that an enemy? That's an enemy. Did I just kill myself? I, I killed myself. I did, guys. That was only the best play. I just decided it was time to go down to FSR balance, so we had to get that death to have it happen, you know? All right, we are now pushing into the 140 FPS range, down to the 120s, depending on the scene. That grenade hurt, but I, we're, we're still alive. Apparently I threw a grenade instead of reloading. That's what the most skilled players do. At least we killed the gunner in the vehicle. All right. Got one. Got him. Ah, they got me. All right, let's go on down to the performance mode for FSR 1.0. And things start to look pretty blurry. Performance is certainly, I mean, it's called performance mode for a reason. We've got lots of FPS now, up in the 150s. Hmm, I know there's a guy up there. Maybe I can sneak up on him up this ladder. This is where we'd really like FSR 2.0, where the performance mode would look a lot better, hopefully the full game either supports it natively or maybe has a mod. Any game with DLSS 2 should be able to pretty easily support FSR 2. And this game has DLSS 2. So that would be nice to see. Got him. I think I'm low on ammo. There's some. There you got me. All right, I think that was 1440p. So let's go ahead and kick it down to 1080p, where I think, again, this GPU, GPU is advertised. So 1080p. We're on, I'm gonna go back up to the extreme settings and turn off FSR. All right, so maxed out native 1080p. We're in the mid 70s to 80s, it looks like. And I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but the specific, the specific GPU model that I'm using here as I switch down to the ultra settings. So ultra settings, 1080p. Anyway, the specific RX 6600 XT that I'm using here is the ASRock Challenger. 
Um, I tend to purchase the cheapest cooler models that are available. Um, so it may or may not still be the cheapest model as of the time of filming, but when I purchased it, it was. And you can see that the cooler is actually doing just fine. We're in the 50 degree range. And at ultra settings here on the rooftops, our performance seems fine. Apparently I have a parachute. I didn't know that. And there we go. All right, let's go ahead and kick down to the balance settings. I think down off the rooftops, things are a little bit tougher, but looks like we're in the 115 to 120 range. Goes down to 100 a bit here. And again, this is native 1080p. And... There's an enemy. Got him. There's a lot of enemies. I'm running out of that place. Throwing a grenade at this guy. Got him. Got him, that's a bot. And of course they sneak up behind me because that's what they do. All right, let's go down to the basic settings. So basic settings, 1080p, native resolution, no FSR yet. And we are over 100 FPS. And let's see if we can find some enemies and see how we hold up. Keep hearing gunshots, but where are they coming from? Let's go up on a roof. Oh wait, there's an enemy. That was a bot. It's not a real enemy. There's a real enemy, he found me. All right, so that was basic settings 1080p. So let's try out the ultra quality upscale at 1080p. So we're now rendering a bit below 1080p and upscaling at the basic settings. Wait, that's an enemy, is that an enemy? Was that, is that an enemy? Yes, that, that's an enemy. There's an enemy in my spawn, guys. Um, let's go ahead and go down to the quality, uh, but like run, this looks pretty bad now, guys. <laughs> We're getting quite blurry. 1080p. All right, good. We're dead. We don't need to stay on those settings very long. All right. Um, wait, how much time's left in the game? Okay. We're, we're going to try out 4K. Not because that's what anybody buys this GPU for, but because we are being thorough in our testing. We're going to go um, up to the extreme settings with FSR turned off. And it is going to go beyond our recommended VRAM capacity, apparently. So here we go. 20 FPS seems plenty. That's a teammate. It's hard to tell at these frame rates. <laughs> I got a kill, guys. Who says you need frames to win games? All right, I can barely use the, the... Oh no, are we crashing? I think we're crashing, guys. No, no, it didn't crash. Okay, okay, we can do this. We're gonna go down to the basic settings. Apply. Okay. This is native 4K at the basic settings. <laughs> we're now up in the 40s, which feels pretty good after playing at 20 FPS. What is that? What? What is that? What? Why is he flying? What is he... Is this cheats? Alright, we blew up. That's good. Good to see. Let's go ahead and kick on some FSR at the ultra quality settings. So ultra quality FSR, 4K basic. And well, we're in the mid 50s, almost 60. This is downright playable. Where am I getting shot from? Duck. Duck, dive, dip, dodge, or something. 
What is happening? Too much smoke. There was an enemy, but he's dead now. Alright. Too much smoke. Where is he? Getting shot. But where from? There's some guys up there. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Can I get him? I got him. Got him. Got the bot. That was probably a real player. And there we go. There's the RX 6600 XT. And, you know, we reached some 4K playability, but looked great at its intended resolutions. All right, we've got the RX 6600. This is the non-XT version. You can see it right there. We're starting out at 1440p. This is really more of a 1080p card, and we're at 1440p maximum settings. Uh, native resolution, no FSR yet. Um, but I just thought I'd show off that it actually is going to start out around 60 FPS, maxed out at 1440p. Um, but like I said, we will test out 1080p, where I think this GPU really shines. And if we have time, we'll go ahead and kick on some uh, 4K just for the fun of it. <laughs> See how that goes. There's an enemy jumping around up there. Anyway, um, yeah, 1440p performance here actually seems completely fine. I mean, 60 FPS isn't what I would target for competitive games, but... Honestly, if you can't get the kill at 60 FPS, there's a good chance you couldn't have got it anyway. <laughs> Not that frames can't win games. Let's go ahead and kick it down to the ultra settings. So, 1440p ultra settings, native resolution. Somebody's trying to snipe me from up there, and I don't have a sniper rifle, so I probably should not be shooting back at them. I should probably be running away. Is that an enemy? I think that's an enemy. I think he was trying to throw a grenade at me. I'm reloading. I promise I wasn't just too dumb to pull the trigger. I, I was reloading. <laughs> Wait, that's a teammate. That's not a teammate. You know what? Let's go ahead and switch out the graphics settings. Let's go down to the balance settings at 1440p. This is still native 1440p. And apparently I'm out of ammo. So, let's see if we can get in close. That's a teammate. That's an enemy. And he was in close, so I don't know what my excuse is, other than I didn't see him coming. All right, been down to basic settings at 1440p. This is the native 4K resolution. And performance is reasonably good at 1440p. Let's go ahead and kick on FSR to the ultra quality setting. And this should give us a nice bump. So basic settings, 1440p upscale from the FSR ultra quality setting. And we are now over 100 FPS on the RX 6600. These cards are going between like $240 to $250 for the cheapest models these days. If I haven't mentioned it yet, this is the XFX Swift 210 which actually does tend to be the cheapest card uh, available new on Amazon most of the time. And the cooling seems fine. I've never really had any issues with this card in all the games I've tested it on. So anyway, if you're interested in a inexpensive RX 6600, here it is now at 1440p basic settings with the quality FSR 1.0 upscale. I really hope they add FSR 2.0 to this game. That's a teammate. I don't know. I, I wish the the blue dots were different or something. I feel like it's too easy to mistake a teammate for an enemy in this game for some reason. I don't know. Maybe the if the players had a bit more of an outline to them or something. But I mean, there's not really friendly fire in this game mode, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Hey, we got taken out. Let's go ahead and go down to FSR balanced. So FSR 1.0 balanced on my RX 6600 non XT. 1440p, basic settings. That's a teammate. That's not a teammate. <laughs> He's throwing a grenade. Can we go up the ladder? Is he going to see me coming? 
Is there gonna be an enemy right here? Might be. Let's go up. All right, we're gonna sneak up on this guy. Got him. <laughs> All right. That was a bot. That was a bot. Again, I'm doing the invasion game mode. So lots of players, but also lots of bots. Uh, when I started benchmarking all these GPUs, there was not a... Um, it, it seemed like the best mode to test because the, uh, s the smaller modes they had available when I started testing in the beta seemed to just be... Uh, like if you die, you have to wait to respawn, and that didn't seem like an efficient way to benchmark the GPUs. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hey, I finally got a kill with the shotgun. I think that might be the first time I've done that. Okay, we'll go down to the performance mode. Basic settings, performance modes. So this is about as far as you can push it at 1440p on the RX 6600. Looks like we're not quite CPU limited here. So this is still a GPU limit. You can see it around 98, 99%. Uh, but we wouldn't really get much more out of my CPU in this game. That was a... Uh, that was a teammate. Okay, here we're CPU limited. You saw it drop down to 91, 93%. So kind of bouncing around between a CPU and a GPU limit. So maxing out my, did I say at my CPU yet for this, G, uh, for this GPU? Because I know some of you guys aren't gonna watch uh, all of the GPUs. So this is the R9 5950X CPU with 32 gigabytes of CL36, uh, sorry, 3600 CL16 memory. There's an enemy in there. Can we, uh, I disabled the vehicle? Didn't, wasn't, wasn't trying to, but look at me go. All right, let's go ahead and drop this down to 1080p. So I gotta go to the display tab, display 1080p. And this is, I think, where this GPU is really designed to compete. Although we just saw it certainly giving us a, a good Good showing at 1440p, to be honest. So now we are at 1080p extreme with FSR turned off. So maxed out 1080p. And we're up in the 90s. So yeah, if you've got this thing as a 1080p GPU, I think you are a happy camper in this game. Apparently I'm getting shot at here. Where are they at, bro? Is that an enemy? No. Is that an enemy? No. Where's an enemy? I'm getting shot. There's an enemy. Got him. He tried to crouch. Not gonna work on me. I am far too mediocre at this game. <laughs> Let's go down to the ultra settings. All right, ultra settings, 1080p native resolution. Pick up a kill streak. I don't even know what those are. How does that work? And yes, I just said I don't know what a kill streak is. Guys, I don't play Call of Duty. I'm assuming it's a bonus I get for killing in a, in a streak of some sort. <laughs> okay. Got him. One shot, one kill. I mean, I got a headshot. Apparently, I'm reloading. Did I pick up a different gun? I think I did. Interesting. Um, what's there to do? There, uh, there are enemies somewhere. There's one. I think the I think the car shot him. I wanted to get him. I'm stealing my kills, Mr. Car Guy. All right, where are they at? There's a guy. Get an angle on him. Bots, I gotta slaughter the bots, mowing the bots down. Oh, there we go, finally got sniped. So we can drop down to the balance settings. Let's check where we're at in the game. Uh, yeah, we're about halfway through, we got plenty of time. All right, balance settings, 1080p native resolution on the RX 6600 non-XT. 
XFX Swift 210. Cooler design. And there we go. Let's go ahead and drop on down to the basic settings. All right, basic settings, 1080p native. Up in the uh, 112, 122 type of range here. Let's throw a grenade. Did not get the job done. Is the vehicle destroyed? Let's move on. It's not a bush or an enemy, that was a bush. Scrap assist, look at me go. There's enemies, enemies. It's apparently not a super long range weapon. That's fine, I think I saw an enemy right here. There was one around this building, I swear. I think so. We'll find him. Where are they at? Let, let's let's circle around behind them. Is this where they spawn? Made it to the enemy's side. That's a real player. Somebody got me. All right, let's go ahead and switch this. Okay, we're already down to basic settings. So let's try out, what if we really wanted to push things and went to FSR ultra quality at 1080p basic? I think I've mentioned it already, but I do have smart access memory enabled. I have not tried turning it off and on with a uh, comparing the same scene to see whether it actually helps in this game, but I do have smart access memory enabled. That guy should feel embarrassed for not getting me there. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. That is like a turret of some kind. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We are gonna do something kind of silly. We're gonna play at 4K on this thing. <laughs> All right, so we are at 4K, basic settings, FSR, ultra quality. And you know what? We're around 60 FPS. We're not. A lot 60 FPS but hey it's actually playable I thought this would be going much worse <laughs> now that's not a native 4k of course got the gunner look at me go Can I open the door? I was trying to open the door. You know what? Um, this is actually worth playing with. Let's go down to the quality setting on FSR, and I think we're gonna get a fairly decent 4K experience on the RX 6600. That's actually kind of surprising. But a pleasant surprise. This thing is probably not something I wanna fight, is it? That's a kill streak, isn't it? They, they got a thing for, for, for being good. Uh, let's go ahead and kick down to the balanced FSR on the basic settings at 4K. Now this actually just feels pretty good. And honestly, I'm on a 4K screen and I can tell we're not native at 4K. Um, but it doesn't look bad. Like I would never play a single player uh, game by choice down at FSR 1.0 balanced, but I like to stick to the ultra quality for the spatial upscaling. But that's surprisingly decent. Let's go ahead and go down to the performance mode. So basic settings performance mode at 4K on our Trusty RX 6600 non XT. So performance mode, I'm pretty sure, is a 
at 4K performance mode, I think is 1080p upscaled to 4K. All right, well, since there's still time left, let's go ahead and turn off FSR and try the basic settings at 4K. Whoa. Okay. We were struggling there for a second, but it looks like it has adjusted. Yeah, so looks like without FSR, we're not having as great of an experience, but hey, 4K native in the low 40 FPS range, and hey, I got a kill, so there's that. I got another kill. Look, guys. Am I getting more kills now? And these are players, not bots. Apparently, 40 FPS is my sweet spot. Is that a 50 cal sniper rifle? Should, should I go get that? All right, we got the 50 cal sniper. Got him. <laughs> All right, guys, looks like the RX 6600 at 4K native resolution, basic settings is my uh, go-to settings for getting um, kill streaks or something. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, so what are we gonna try now? Um, we're, we're definitely gonna try out some turning up the settings, right? We're gonna go to the balance settings at 4K native. We're now hanging out in the mid 30s. Seems like uh, the thing to do. All right, that one didn't work out so well for me, although, you know, I just got sniped. We can't, oh wait, we don't wanna go down to basic. We're gonna go up to ultra settings. All right, guys, ultra settings, native. <laughs> oh, we didn't really get to play it out. Well, there we go, defeat. That That is what it is, and the 6600 doing a pretty good job here. All right, let's go ahead and test out the RTX 3080. I have the 12 gigabyte version, which in addition to slightly more VRAM than the 10 gigabyte version, also has a few more CUDA cores, a little more memory bandwidth, um, but it's not a massive performance difference, just a few percent. And as soon as I get away from any potential enemies here, ah, don't kill me while I'm reloading. See, that's a, uh, that's a bot, by the way. This has bots. You see the hostile killed in one point? That's not a real player. We're in the inv invasion game mode, because I think having the uh, largest map possible here makes sense. And hey, I was looking for a excuse to pop over to the graphics settings to show you guys what we're looking at here. So I decided to start out at the ultra preset at 4K, and I'm not using any DLSS yet. Um, not using any other type of image scaling. Scroll down to let you guys see that. So basically I clicked the ultra preset and made sure it was at the native 4K resolution and thought we'd take a look at how we're doing. Right now it's looking like we're hanging in there at right about a little above 60 FPS, which feels fine, although for a competitive shooter, you know, you'd, you'd like more. So it's obviously gonna make sense to use DLSS and or turn down some settings. And we'll probably test out some uh, 1440p here as well before we go. That's an enemy. Well, a uh, bot type enemy. Is that it? Yeah, that was... Okay, I, I, I guess I'm good at slaughtering bots. Are there gonna be any actual enemies to fight here at some point? Maybe, is that one? No. Not sure how I feel about bots being in here, to be honest. I don't know if this is a typical Call of Duty thing, um, or if this is new. I'm not really much of a Call of Duty player. I generally play the open beta for free uh, each year. <laughs> That's about it. All right, um, so I think we've got the performance locked in there. Basically, it looks like you can max the game out at 4K native resolution and be hovering a little above 60 FPS. Let's go ahead and try kicking on DLSS quality and seeing where that gets us. I think in a competitive game, um, 
It's absolutely acceptable. DLSS quality at 4K looks very close to the native resolution. And we're now up in the 90-something FPS range, which feels quite good. I can definitely, definitely feel the upgrade from 60 FPS. So really, I don't think we're going to... I mean, I will test some more settings, but I think in general, it's looking like, honestly, just max the thing out at DLSS quality, and you've got yourself at least a pretty good experience. Are there any actual enemies? Can I, like... Fight somebody who's not a bot? There's one. There's one. So you can tell you get the five points and it actually says like the player name and it says player killed. So you can definitely tell when it's a bot. I'm out of ammo. That seems to be a problem. I'm gonna get killed here. That's a teammate. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. Oh no, oh no. Didn't work. All right, let's go ahead and kick the DLSS even more aggressive. Let's drop down to the balanced mode, which usually still looks quite good in most games. And the FPS is now pushing up a little bit over 100. Another player killed. Look at me go. Look at me, Mom. I'm a Call of Duty player. Are you proud of me? I got sniped. I saw that little scope thing. All right, let's go ahead and move a little quicker through the DLSS here. Let's go to performance, which is usually the most aggressive you want to go. I wouldn't usually use this in a, you know, beautiful single player game um, where I'm trying to, to make it look as good as possible because I can generally see a little blurriness, a little detail loss, especially in motion, but for a competitive shooter type situation, I think the performance gain is more than worth um, going a little more aggressive on things with the upscaling. All right, whenever I die or feel safe for a second, I'll adjust my settings here a bit. Yeah, we're now hanging out around the 120 FPS mark, which is, uh, you know, I'm on a 120 FPS um, LG C1 OLED, so for me that's good enough, but a lot of people might be going for more. Let's try out the ultra performance upscaling. Again, in a single player game, I would not go this aggressive. You definitely start to see the, uh, see the upscale. <laughs> but, Performance looking quite good at 4K. All right, let's go ahead and try out what if we played at the balance settings but with DLSS turned off. By the way, if it's not letting you turn on DLSS, I noticed that if you have CAS on, DLSS gets grayed out. So just if you're like, why is DLSS grayed out? Turn off the contrast adaptive sharpening, and it will allow you to enable DLSS. So remember, um, when we were on the native ultra settings, we were around the mid-60 FPS range most of the time. It's looking like we are now definitely doing better than that at the balanced setting. That was a real player. I thought that was a bot. <laughs> That's a real player as well. Interesting. Let's go upstairs. Uh, do I have a grenade or something? Ah, I threw it inside. I closed the door. I thought F was grenade. F was not grenade. <laughs> or F was grenade? I don't even know, man. I pushed the wrong button is what I'm trying to say. 
Oof. All right, let's go ahead and try out going down to the basic settings at 4K. All right. We're in the mid 70s again, so it's certainly looking like the upscaling with DLSS is the best way to gain performance. Although I will certainly try out combining the two. Because we got a much more, like we were getting higher FPS at ultra settings um, with DLSS quality than we're getting here going all the way down uh, a couple notches on the actual graphics settings. So let me uh, go ahead and adjust this thing again. If we go all the way down to minimum, it's not even uh, at the actual full render resolution. So let's go ahead, go back to the basic settings, and then we're going to kick on DLSS to the performance setting. Or should we actually go to ultra performance? Let's do that. So let's see if, if we lower settings and kick on DLSS, just how of high of an FPS experience we can get. Look at my minimap right now. Is that bugged out? Like, is that a game thing? Like, somebody's using an item on me? Or is that a glitch? I honestly don't know Call of Duty well enough. Ooh, wow, we just got mowed down. How embarrassing. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, so it's looking like at 4K, that's, uh, that's about what we can do. And... I think that it's about time to try out some 1440p. All right, went ahead and started up another round so we can test out 1440p a little bit. So currently we're at the 1440p ultra settings, although let's actually double check that, make sure I got everything ultra. DLSS is off, so we are currently at the native ultra preset at 1440p. Let's roll with it. So we're already over 100 FPS at um, ultra native settings, so that's good, I guess. Let's find some bad guys. Oh, well, we found them, or at least they found me. <laughs> All right, um, I mean, Performance seems good. Again, seems pretty much just hangs out a bit above 100 FPS. I'm curious how far we could push it if we kick on some DLSS here. So if we go into the DLSS, kick it on to quality, apply settings. All right, we're now over 140 FPS, which is nice. Hey, got him. I had seen an enemy there. Got him, although that's a fake enemy. What is Battle Rage? I'm gonna push X. What is that? What does that even do? Ah, I'm getting shot. It does not hide me from snipers. Getting grenaded. Got him. Fake enemy again. Got him. Got him. Fake one. Ah! Hm. <laughs> that guy should have had me. That was pretty funny. All right, uh, let's go ahead and try kicking the DLSS um, all the way down to the performance mode at 1440p ultra settings. And it's looking like we might be actually starting to get into a CPU limit because you can see that my GPU usage is in the 80% range, um, which means that it's probably being limited by my CPU. Now, you might look at my CPU and notice that it's not anywhere near 100%, but that's because this is a 16-core, 32-thread CPU. 
So your game can still be limited by your CPU, even if your CPU is not being 100% used. Because as long as a single thread of the CPU is limiting the game from being able to produce another frame, um, it becomes a CPU limit, um, despite the CPU usage not being at 100%. So really, you look at the GPU usage to figure out if you are CPU limited, because your GPU will be 100% utilized if your CPU can feed it. Some of you will be like, well, RAM matters too and stuff. I kind of factor the RAM in with the CPU. Like, they, they, they're working together. <laughs> okay. Did I mention, I, if I didn't yet, I have an R9 5950X CPU with a... Um, uh, 32 gigabytes of <laughs> 3200, uh, sorry, 3600 CL16 memory. There we go. It's in the middle of fighting. It's hard to remember my PC specs. All right, what should we do here? Should we try out 1080p just for fun? Let's, um, let's go ahead and drop the display down to 1080p. Way down here. 1080p, there it is. And we will be at the ultra preset, but I don't think we need a DLSS, at least at first. All right, 1080p ultra settings on an RTX 3080. I know, I know you people are out there. <laughs> you buy your 3080 for 1080p competitive gaming and you want the highest of frame rates at the lowest of resolutions. I mean, 1080p is fine, I guess, but if you got a 3080, <laughs> I think you should be on 1440p personally, at least. All right. Now, again, due to CPU limitations, I don't think we can get our frame rate much higher here. I think the GPU is pretty much being pushed as hard as it can. But we'll go ahead and kick on DLSS quality and just see if we can push it any harder. It's really looking like this is about the, uh, the limits of the CPU in this situation. All right, well, there it is. Looks like the uh, 3080 does well here. At uh, It seems like the most effective way to game frame rate is upscaling rather than adjusting the settings. It did not seem like the settings did a whole lot performance-wise. They helped a little bit, but kicking on DLSS seems to do a lot more than uh, you know turning down to the lower settings. Should I finish out the round, guys? Well, there's a lot of round left. I'll probably finish out the round, but I will spare you guys from having to watch my uh, Call of Duty gameplay. <laughs> I can play shooters, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know Call of Duty. Ah! And I hope all of you have an excellent day. All right, we've got the RX, not RX, geez, RTX 3070 Ti. We're starting out at 4K. Of course, we'll try out 1440p and 1080p. We're at the extreme preset with no DLSS. So, maxed out 4K settings. Apparently, I just threw a grenade. Let's get in here. Looks like we're doing, you know, I was gonna say 60 FPS, but we're dropping down around 49, mid 50s now. Now the 3070 Ti model that I have is the Founders Edition. So if you're curious about the cooler and why the temps are pretty high and all that, like I said, it is the Founders Edition. All right, well, that'll give us a good opportunity to switch down the graphics settings. Ooh, kind of freezing up there for a second. All right, going down to the ultra settings. All right, I can feel things really choppy here for a second as it switches over. Okay, ultra settings, native 4K. Let's go ahead and run on in here and see what happens. This is the invasion game mode as I'm testing all my 
GPUs with the same game mode. I started out in Invasion, so we're gonna keep going with Invasion. There's an enemy up there. Did not get him. There's another one here. There's another one there. There's enemies everywhere. They're all around. We didn't make it. All right, let's go ahead and drop this down to the balance settings. Wow, things feel really choppy as I'm changing this. I actually even accidentally clicked image scaling. We're down to like two FPS, one FPS, two FPS. Hang in there. Is it gonna settle down? Is it gonna settle down? Okay. We've applied the settings. That was scary. Hopefully the uh, recording's still working out. <laughs> okay. I don't know how it picked up in the recording, if it did at all, but basically we went down to like two FPS. My mouse moving around the menus was barely, barely working at all. Um, and here we are. Alright, so at the balance settings, we're at least over 60 FPS most of the time, it looks like. Let's go ahead and drop down to the basic settings. Alright, basic settings. 4K on the RTX 3070 Ti Founders Edition. And... Let's push on in here. That's a teammate. I think there's a guy crouching down there. I could be wrong, though. There is. I feel like I need a gun that's better at longer ranges. One of these days I might even get a like a kill or something, we'll see. Alright, that was basic settings, so now we're going to start upscaling. So let's go to DLSS quality, and I think this is going to make a massive improvement. So, 4K basic settings, DLSS quality. Now up into the 80s and 90s FPS range. Things are feeling a lot better. Is an enemy up there? Can I get him? Nope. Let's see if he's gonna pop back out here. Is he down there? Eh, whatever. That was an enemy. That was another enemy. That's a dead one. All right, let's go ahead and try out a more aggressive upscale. So balanced DLSS. Wait, did it switch over to the recommended quality preset when I told it to be on the basic quality preset? Okay, basic quality, balanced. Hopefully that wasn't messed up earlier. I swear I clicked the right buttons. Let me double check again. Wow, it feels like it's having issues saving my settings. Let's apply them again. So, basic, balanced, DLSS. See if it works out now. All right, around 100 FPS, that seems better. Killed the gunner, that works out, I guess. Guy up on the roof there, got him. An enemy here. That's a bot. There's a guy. I think there's another one in here. He just came out, got him. Bot. Got him. Got him. Got him, but it's a bot. 
Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Bot. Got him. It's a bot, though. Got him. It's a bot, though. Got him. It's a bot, though. Oh, ah. Where am I getting shot from? There he is. All right, let's go ahead and switch those settings. Why is it unrecommended again? Maybe that's, maybe the settings I chose is the recommended? I don't know. We're gonna go down to performance, DLSS though. So basic settings, performance, DLSS. Looks like we're a little over 100 FPS now, 115, 110. I can certainly tell we're upscaled now rather than running it native. But performance mode DLSS still looks pretty decent for playing a competitive game. And certainly appreciate the extra performance from the performance DLSS. I'm on a 120 FPS screen, so once we're hanging out around there, I feel pretty good. Complete side note, but on the uh, LG C1 OLED that I'm using, I know it only goes up to 120 and some other screens go higher, but the incredibly low um, input latency, it makes it feel really good. All right, let's go ahead and kick down to the ultra performance mode. This one usually looks fairly bad. I keep clicking, guys, that's so weird, isn't it? I keep going down to basic and it says recommend. I guess maybe it recommends basic, so that's why it keeps calling it that. I don't know. At ultra performance mode, those like particle effects we saw there a second ago look pretty bad on my 4K screen, I'm gonna tell you that. Anyway. Got him. All right. Got him. Oh man. Okay. So let's go ahead and drop on down to 1440p, which I really think is a more appropriate. Not that you can't do 4K with this card, especially with DLSS, but I think it's makes more sense as a 1440p GPU, in my opinion. All right. Applying settings. Applying settings. Don't crash. Don't crash. Okay. We are at the extreme settings. No DLSS yet at 1440p on our 3070Ti. Looks like maxed out 1440p is around 80, mid 80s. Wait. That was a teammate. Let's throw a grenade in there. The smoke looks kind of bad. Got him. Let's run through the building. All right, let's go ahead and drop on down. Is it going back to... Re Was it recommending extreme? Is that why? Guys, I don't know what to tell you. This is behaving weird. It was, uh, it was not behaving like this on my AMD GPUs. <laughs> Or even on my uh, NVIDIA GPUs yesterday. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway. Should I check that it that check that check it actually saved the settings? I'm making me nervous. Okay, we're on balance settings, native 1440p. Should be okay. Except I meant to go down to ultra, didn't I? Oh, well. We're on balanced. We'll just roll with it. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and go on down to basic. So basic 1440p, native resolution. Uh, 
Uh, frame rate's over 110 now. Well, down to 95, 92, 90. 88. Is that an enemy? Yeah, it was. Two of them. Cool. There's a truck. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, we're already down to basics, so now let's kick on DLSS, see what that does for us. Uh, let's go DLSS quality. So 1440p, basic settings, DLSS quality. We're now in the mid-120 FPS range. Where's the bad guys? Are they shooting at the UAV? Is that what's going on here? Hey, we did a thing. All right, let's go ahead and kick DLSS down to the balanced. Did, did this thing try to adjust? I don't know what to tell you guys. You, you see me click basic, apply settings, balance DLSS. Okay, I did it. Anyway, so I don't know what to tell you guys if it's not accepting those settings. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and... Well, now DLSS is off. Look at that. What is this thing doing? This is so frustrating. Okay, let's actually try this. Balanced, basic, okay. Let's check if it's actually on. Now it's back to saying recommended. Basic, balanced, apply settings. Now let's check again. Basic DLSS off. Guys, I don't know. This is frustrating. What if I check again? I don't know, man. Or on balanced DLSS. It might be on recommended. It might be on basic, whatever the difference is. I don't know what to tell you guys. Am I actually, like, leading my team on points? <laughs> While I'm benchmarking and changing graphics settings? Alright, let's go down to performance. Again, I think we're on basic settings with performance, but it keeps saying recommended because... Who knows? The game's broken? I don't know. <laughs> up around 150, 160 FPS now. Uh, the GPU utilization seems to be dropping, so I think we have now reached as far as the CPU will go. So let's go ahead and pop down to 1080p real quick. So 1920 by 1080, apply settings. Let's go to the quality settings, go to extreme and turn off DLSS. You guys saw it, I did press the buttons. So, extreme, DLSS off, 1080p. Oh, guess we didn't really get to test out 1080p. Well, there you go. It is what it is. <laughs> Sorry we're having some issues on this one. All right, looks like this time around it's dropped me into a game that's already started. Well, anyway, we'll have to do this one fast. We're at 1440p, we're at the extreme settings, and currently no DLSS and we got blown up. So let's go ahead and try that again. All right, we are at native 1440p extreme settings. Like I said, dropped into a game that seems to have already started. Let's give this setting a bit of a test. This is the RTX 3070, and this is the Asus Dual model, and it's at its out of the box settings, I believe it has a small factory overclock. And I think this this is one of the cards that has like an OC versus quiet mode slider switch on it, and I've got it on the performance or whatever. Anyway, that was a real enemy. I thought that was a bot. All right, let's go ahead and drop the graphics settings. So let's go down to Ultra. Wait, I clicked Ultra. Okay, apply settings. All right, down to the ultra settings. 1440p, native. There's a guy. Looks like we're hanging out in the 80-something 80, 80 FPS range. All right, there's a guy up on the roof, turns out. Anyway, let's go down to the balance settings. Uh, 
There's a lake there or something. That's not going to take me towards the action. There's the guy up on the roof. I don't know if I can get him from back here. At least chased him away. That guy just died. There's a guy in this window. Can I throw a grenade in that window? Apparently I missed. I have no idea what the grenade, like, arc <laughs> is in this game, so... Anyway... I can click on click on the enemies, but I don't really know much else about the game. I'm playing a good amount testing out GPUs now, though, but hey. Anyway, let's go down to basic settings. So we're at basic settings, native 1440p on the RTX 3070. Looks like we're hanging out near 100 FPS now. Okay, guess I got him. So there's that. Where are the enemies at? Is that a bot? I think that's a bot. Can I kill the gunner guy in this thing? Got an assist. Um. Apparently I ran out of ammo and switched guns. All right, so that was already down to basic. So let's start kicking on the DLSS. So DLSS quality, basic settings, 1440p. Oh, is it doing that thing to me again where it switches over to recommended? We'll see. Anyway, DLSS seems to have boosted us to around 120 FPS. All right, so. Uh, balanced, and again, this thing, it, it was doing that to me on my 3070 Ti as well, where it didn't seem to want to actually stick to the setting it said it was at. But anyway, we're trying our best here. Looks like I got one as I died. All right. Well, look, look, DLSS, it says it's off. Okay, let's go down to balanced DLSS, basic settings, try that again. You guys saw me click Applied Settings, right? This game be broken, bro. Okay. I'm getting killed. Where are they at? That was a bot, I think. You know, somebody a real player killed me. Oh, apparently there was like an airstrike or something. Let's go down to Performance DLSS. Again, it's it's telling me recommended settings. It seems to not want to stick to basic, so whatever. Is what it is. Looks like I died already. All right, let's go ahead and jump down to 1080p. All right, we're going to go 1080p. We're going to go Extreme Settings with no DLSS. So 1080p extreme, no DLSS. We've got a roll here because the uh, enemy team's going to win soon. We are playing one round of invasion per GPU. <laughs> so I'm already going to be up too late doing all these benchmarks. Already dead. Let's change settings. All right. Look, it keeps wanting to go to recommended settings. What is this? OK. Ultra settings, apply settings. You guys saw me do it. Ultra settings applied. Okay. Anyway, trying our best here. See what happens. Got one. All right, we're just getting airstriked after airstriked. Okay, that was at least staying at the ultra settings. We're down to balance now. So balance settings, 1080p. Let's see what we got. Any enemies over here? No? Maybe? No. 
Definitely an enemy, actually. Got me. All right, balance down to basic. So we're at 1080p basic native. All right. I believe that's an enemy. Let's throw a grenade. Got him. That's an enemy. That's a bot. That's a real enemy. I started reloading at the wrong time, man. All right, we're down at basic, so let's go ahead and try out DLSS quality at 1080p, basic settings. Up to 145-ish FPS. Close to the end of the game are we here? All right. I do want to kick on 4K really quickly, so let's just go ahead and do that before the game ends. So let's go up to 3840 by 2160. And let's go with the uh, extreme settings, but DLSS quality. Let's apply it anyway, despite the VRAM warning. Maybe that was a bad idea. We shall see. <laughs> okay. Alright, 4K Extreme DLSS quality. And we've already been defeated. Sorry we didn't get a much 4K testing in there, but it dropped me into the already partially finished game, so I thought 1440p and 1080p would be the more interesting ones to test out. Alright, we've got ourselves an RTX 3060 Ti. This is the Founders Edition model, running at its stock settings. 1440p, right now we're at the native resolution, no upscaling with DLSS, and we're starting at the maximum extreme settings for the 3060 Ti. Let's go ahead and run on in here and get some performance numbers. Looks like we're in the mid 70s at the moment. And this is the invasion game mode, as I've been doing on all of them to keep things consistent, although, you know, there's more than one map and Ah, I'm dead. Quite frankly, I don't have enough time to, you know, make sure I get the same map every time. <laughs> I've got the time I have to try to get all these GPUs benchmarked. Anyway, here's some ultra settings. Ultra and extreme seem to perform extremely similarly. We get a little bit better performance, but it's just a few FPS. So there's that. I'm going to attempt to not get sniped there easily. Can I not jump up this thing? Uh, let's go up this ladder. Seems like it would be awfully easy to shoot me while I'm walking up this ladder. Can you not climb faster? That's a teammate. That's not a teammate. That's a teammate. Where, where are them bad guys at? Getting shot from over here, maybe? In a window? I mean, where? Is he up there? He is up there. Well, we found him. There's that. Anyway, let's go down to the balance settings. So balance settings, native 1440p. All right. Let's see. Um... It's been a pretty uninventful game so far. Is that an enemy? I think that's an enemy. Got him. Okay. We did a thing. I wonder if there's still that guy up on that water tower or whatever it was. Can I not mantle over that? There's an enemy. It's a bot. Can I throw a grenade here? There's a guy. That's a real enemy. That's a real enemy. Got the assist. Are there more guys here? That's a bad guy. All right. Well, let's go ahead and drop on down to the basic settings. Oh, we've lost the lead. Oh no. What will I ever do? I think I would need a sniper rifle to actually be able to take this guy on here. Anyway, so basic settings, we're at 90 FPS. 
we'll kick on DLSS here in just a second. See what that does for us. Guy's already dead, I guess. What's that guy still up there? It's the grenade. Ah! I killed myself. That was my grenade falling out of the window. So we'll call it a win. I got a kill. All right, let's go down to quality. So basic settings, DLSS quality at 1440p. DLSS quality upscale still looks quite good at 1440p. We're up into the 80 something FPS range. That almost doesn't seem right. I thought we'd get a bigger boost. Am I crazy? Let me let me double check the settings, guys. 1440p. See, it goes to recommend instead of base. It does not. For whatever reason, I've been having issues with it jumping away from the settings that I choose. Okay, we are now at DLSS quality, the basic settings, and I think we're now at 100 FPS, which is more like it. That was just bots. Bunch of enemies all at once. Okay. All right, let's go ahead. See, now it says DLSS off. What is this? Anyway, let's go ahead and kick DLSS back on. So this should be DLSS quality basic settings. Let me check if it actually stuck. But then it jumps back to recommended. Whatever. Okay, I guess we're going to be at recommended settings with DLSS balanced. Because this game will not obey what I tell it to do. And I don't know what to say, guys. Like, I don't know. I don't think the order I'm going to put all my GPUs in the video is the same order I'm filming it in. But I did all of my AMD GPUs. Did not have any problems with the uh, settings sticking. And then now I am doing my NVIDIA GPUs, and I am having trouble with the settings sticking. Except that a couple days ago, I did my RTX 3080 and didn't seem to have any trouble with the settings sticking. Uh, or on my GTX 1060. So I don't know what to tell you guys. It's just being weird. Now we do have 130 to 140 FPS at the moment, so there's that. That's an enemy. That's a bot. That's a real enemy. That's a real enemy. All right, that was DLSS performance. I don't think we want to go down to ultra performance, so we're going to go down to 1080p. 1080p, we're going to go back to the extreme settings and turn off DLSS. Please actually save and apply. I'm actually going to double check just to be sure. See, it went back to recommended settings. Look at that. Maybe it's recommending extreme. So maybe that's why that's happening. I don't know. Extreme settings, 1080p. Are we are we there now? Okay, it seems to have saved. So, extreme settings, 1080p. In the uh, 90 FPS range, drops into the 80s at times. I don't know whether to stare at my frame rate counter or look for enemies. Maybe we'll try to do both. <laughs> Enemies this way? Yep, thought so. Ah, too many enemies. All right, let's drop down to the ultra settings. So, ultra settings, 1080p. Let's double check it actually saved. It did, okay. Ultra settings, 1080p. Oh wait, that might be teammates. I didn't see the blue. Wait, help, I'm dying. Can I get through here? How embarrassing, I had like no health and he didn't give me. Can, can we get him? Got him. Not doing too well. Can't let the COD kids win. Got him, oh my. Should I just start randomly firing? Got him. <laughs> Let's see. Where are they at? Maybe I should change graphics settings? Hmm. 
We shall see. Let's change some graphic settings. I'll probably get shot while I do it, but that's fine. Okay, that was the ultra settings. Let's go down to balanced. So we're at balanced 1080p. Let's double check it actually saved it since it's being weird. Yes, it is. Okay, we are at the balanced settings. And there's two bots dead. Is that a bot or a real player? That was a real player. That was a bot. That was a bot. That was a few bots and a real player. That's a not a person. That's a real player. That's a real player. That's a real player. And he got me. All right, let's go ahead and try out the basic settings at 1080p. So 1080p basic settings. Got him. Okay, we're well over 100 FPS. I think the 3060 Ti is a very good 1080p GPU. It, it does 1440p well as well, but if you're looking for high FPS, I think it's... If you can get it at its actual MSRP any of the times in the last two years, <laughs> Founder's Edition drop, like I eventually got. I feel like the uh, 3060 Ti and the 3080 were the standout MSRPs of this um, NVIDIA generation. But anyway, let's click on DLSS quality at the basic settings at 1080p. See if we can push FPS even a bit higher. It's a bit higher. Can I throw a grenade at that guy maybe? Hmm. Where are we at? Still have some time. Got him. Is that a teammate? That's a teammate. Assist. That works. That's a teammate. I'm not good with shotguns. I figured that out at least. Still no ammo in the main gun, though. So there's that. Okay, enemy there, but I'm gonna have to get in close. Or I could pick this gun up. Does he have a gun? Can I pick up enemy guns? We'll see. Should I just run out and die? I need more ammo. Ah, thought I saw an enemy. Bots, right? All right. Um, let's see. Should we try out 4K just for fun? So let's go with uh, 4K since we have time. And I think we should go with the. Uh, let's go with the basic settings at 4K with DLSS quality. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's, it's loading in. We're at 2 FPS. Give it a second. Give it a second. Okay, so 4K. It's trying. Okay, it didn't get the DLSS. It went to basic, but it, didn't, it did not seem to turn on DLSS. Okay, can, can we get this game to load at all? Whoa. Okay, one FPS, guys. Um, I'm trying to change the settings. Okay, <laughs> it won't highlight the graphics button there. I'm trying to click it. Okay, this is the hardest part of the game. Okay, trying to click DLSS. Trying to go down to quality. Turn green, please. Clicking it, waiting, waiting for it to accept it. Okay, going down to apply settings. Turn green, please. Okay, apply settings. All right, DLSS quality is on, and we are suddenly actually working again. That was the hardest part of the game, was 
adjusting the graphic settings. Oh, I need to reload. There we go. This guy just not gonna turn and shoot. I thought that was a bot. Anyway. Well, now we're playing at 4K with decent frame rates. Basic settings with DLSS quality. Alright. Looks like I just got my shotgun, so we're gonna have to die, I guess. Alright, so there's 4K. It says recommended settings now. I don't know, man. And now, now my frame rate's just tanking again. Go down to balanced. Basic settings, balanced. All right. DLSS balanced. I think the settings are a basic, unless it's disobeying again. Let's actually double check that. Yeah, it went back to recommended. Whatever, it's at recommended with DLSS balanced. It's a teammate in the vehicle now, okay. All right, got one. Got another one, got a reload. That's an enemy, I think. That's an enemy. Is there, a, is there an enemy up there? I think there's an enemy up there. Wow, we got flashed. That's an enemy. That's an enemy. I should have had him. That was bad. All right, we're going to go down to the performance mode. So DLSS performance. So this is 1080p upscaling to 4K using DLSS. You know, for a 3060 Ti playing at 4K, this is not too bad. We're in the mid 80 FPS range. Bad guys in the building, throw a grenade. Please get him. Didn't get him. That's a teammate. All right, let's go on down to, I guess, ultra performance mode. So, ultra performance DLSS upscaling at 4K at the recommended settings because the game doesn't seem to want to obey when I tell it to be at the basic settings. And there's that. Looks like we are just about at the end here. So we'll probably just leave it at these settings till we run out of points. Can I get in a vehicle maybe? Do something different. Wait, I just realized, do I have like, what does this button do? I just pressed number five. Um, so I didn't actually know I could use things. <laughs> I just noticed those. Anyway, maybe I'll get good at COD if I can push those buttons. Let's test out some more GPUs. All right, it's counting down the beginning of another invasion match, and this time we're looking at the RTX 3060 non-TI version. We're at 1440p, and we're at native, no upscaling, and this is the extreme quality. So in other words, I accidentally threw a grenade. And also, we're at maximum settings uh, 1440p at the native resolution. Looking like we are able to maintain over 60 FPS at these settings. I think someone's trying to snipe me. Let's go around the other way. Because I don't like getting sniped. I want to get a kill. That guy stole my kill. I meant to slide, not to... Okay, F is open door. I keep pressing E, which is grenade, when I mean to open doors and things. So, anyway. That's a bad guy. That's an assist. I wanted to kill. That's a bad guy but I was reloading. Okay. Where are they at? Those are bots. I'm reloading. 
That's probably a bot. That's probably a real enemy. That was a real enemy. That's a soccer ball. I have 11 bullets. All right, four bullets. That's that's plenty. That's fine. That's not fine. I have a shotgun. All right. Um, I think we're gonna die. Okay, no, no grenades. Yeah, I needed more bullets, and I don't really like the shotgun. Let's go down to the ultra settings. All right, 1440p ultra settings. I got an assist while I was dead, apparently. There's always that. Okay, 70 something FPS range now. Dropping into the 60s a bit. Hard to look at my frame rate counter while aiming. But we try our best around here. All right. There's some bad guys. Okay, got him. Let's go this way. He got me. All right, let's go. Balance settings. 1440p, native. Okay, bouncing around in the 80s, 90s, 80s, 70s. We've lost the lead, guys. Better shoot the soccer ball for good luck. All right. Um, that's a bad guy. Hey, who's shooting me? That's cheating. Got him. That was a real enemy. That was a bot. Let's go through here. Um... That's that that ah that was an enemy. All right, let's go down to basic. So we are at basic settings, 1440p native resolution. And I don't like running down that open street. Seems like a good way to die. This seems like a good way to die. Let's go up on the roof. That's a neat trick. You're gonna shoot me while I'm climbing. I just I, I can feel it. Maybe the stairs would be a better option in the future. Got him. It was a bot though. I don't I don't feel that sense of accomplishment. Um bum bum. Okay, where are they at? Um. Okay, good thing that was a bot. I was gonna feel really bad for that guy if that was a real person and he didn't get that kill. That was a real person. Is this a real person? Can I shoot through that? Is he still here? No, he's dead. Okay. Teammate must have got him. I am out of ammo again. Um... I guess we try to run in and get a kill with the shotgun. All right, let's go ahead and switch on some DLSS. So basic settings, we're gonna kick on DLSS quality. And apparently I threw my grenade. I think, did I do something? All right, um, 100 FPS, that's a teammate, that's not a teammate, that's not a teammate, that's not a teammate. If this game had friendly fire, I would have a lot of team kills, I'm pretty sure of that. Anyway, all right, where are they at? That's not a teammate. The quick way to find out whether or not they're a teammate is to shoot them in the head. I've, I've figured that much out so far. Okay, I knew I was too far out in the open. 
See, it went to recommended instead of staying at basic. Whatever. I kick on DLSS, it apparently goes to recommended. Well, we'll be on recommended settings at the DLSS balanced 1440p. And either way, we're over 100 FPS, so there's that. Okay. Wait, I'm getting shot. Ah! Okay, let's go down to DLSS. No, not recommend. Okay, DLSS performance. We're just going to give up and leave it at that um, recommended setting, whatever that means, because I'm sick of fighting with that glitch. Set it to basic, and it doesn't want to stay. All right, well, there we go. Anyway, let's go ahead and click it on down to 1080p. So 1080p, apply settings. We are now at 1080p. And we're going to go up to the extreme settings with no DLSS. So let's double check. Extreme. No, it went back to recommended. What is this game doing, guys? Extreme settings, apply settings. Check again. Extreme settings. Okay, we're now actually at 1080p extreme settings. After struggling with the glitchy menu thing. You know, it is a beta. So, there's that. I guess we can expect these types of things. At least my minimap's working at the moment. I've had games where my minimap decides to be a glitching weird mess. Reminds me, I don't think I've ever looked at my minimap because it's covered up with the uh, frame rate counter. <laughs> Got him. Apparently, I'm going up a ladder. I didn't actually mean to, but we're just going to stick to the plan now and go up on the roof. Um, I don't know, guys, where are they at? Got him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go down to 1080p Ultra. I'm in second place on my team. It doesn't feel like I'm doing very well. Um, let's check if it actually saved the settings. I, I've got an, okay, good. 1080p Ultra, no DLSS, so native 1080p Ultra. Did I mention I have the RTX Strix, uh, not RTX, RTX 3060 ROG Strix version of the card. So if you're like, Hey, it's running in like the 50 degree temperature range. That's because it's a stupidly big cooler for this GPU. And believe it or not, when I bought it, it was actually the cheapest one because for some reason it came in stock at its, um, you know, Asus MSRP, which is way above the $329 um, Founders Edition MSRP. But in other words, what I'm trying to say here is as good as this cooler is, it's probably not worth actually paying that because it's kind of silly putting a gigantic cooler like this on a card of this class. And if you could just buy a better GPU with a worse cooler, I think for the, like, the same or similar money, it's probably worth it. And that's what I have to say about that. Like, if you could get a 3060 Ti instead of a 3060 with a better cooler versus worse cooler, you know, that's kind of what I'm talking about here. Ah. Oh, they got me. All right, let's go on down to the basic settings. Let's check if it actually... Okay, yeah, basic settings, 1080p, native resolution. Bum, bum, bum. That's a real enemy. Okay. Did he not notice me? I guess I'm uh, sneaky sitting on top of my dumpster. Got him. it tells me. Unacceptable. Wait, so if I press 3, is that an ability of some kind? UAV. 
Does that like tell us where enemies are? Is this ammo? Pick up a kill streak? I don't understand. What I wanted was bullets. <laughs> okay. All right, that was the basic settings. So let's go ahead and kick on DLSS quality. Basic settings, DLSS quality at 1080p. So we're now rendering below 1080p, but upscaling it with DLSS, which I wouldn't really like to do too much in single player games where I'm looking for the eye candy because at 1080p, even DLSS, which is a very good upscaler, is kind of noticeable. But I do think that in a competitive game, it makes sense to grab the FPS. It doesn't look too terrible or anything. All right. Um, let's go ahead and try going silly on the DLSS here. Let's go to Performance DLSS at the basic settings, or I guess it's the recommended settings because it won't let me choose basic. Anyway, looks like we're hitting into the CPU limit now. So that's basically what I wanted to do because you can see the GPU utilization dropping below 100%. That means we are now limited by the CPU. That's an enemy just like landing on me. All right, I think for the last little bit, let's have fun with uh, going to 4K resolution on, you know, a GPU that's not really designed for 4K, but we could go like DLSS quality maybe at the balance settings maybe. So balanced DLSS quality, 4K resolution, and hey, we're right around 60 FPS. Now, one thing about the 3060 is that it does have 12 gigabytes of VRAM, so it seemed to adjust to 4K a lot easier than my 3070, uh, 3070 Ti and 3060 Ti did. Um, I just got sniped, wow. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that does seem to adjust to 4K easier, I think, due to having that extra VRAM. It didn't surpass its... VRAM limit. So we're down to DLSS balanced now at 4K resolution at balanced graphics settings. Uh, hanging out a little over 60 FPS. It feels and looks okay. This is certainly not what this GPU is designed for. And these aren't the frame rates you'd really be looking for in a competitive shooter. But honestly, guys, you can probably play the game just fine. It's above 60 FPS. Um, okay. Got an assist, I guess. That's a teammate. That's a teammate. One of them was a teammate. That's not a teammate. Only have 10 bullets left again. I feel like I should spawn with more ammo. I feel like I'm constantly running out of ammo on this thing. There we go. Got more ammo now. That's a teammate. And that's the game. All right, let's try out another GPU. How'd I do? Second place. All right, we've just loaded up the RTX 3050 into a game of Invasion. We're starting out at 1440p, which is obviously not what this GPU is designed for. And we're at the extreme settings with no DLSS. So, um, Apparently I just threw a grenade. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we're bouncing around in the uh, 39, 38 FPS range. Um, well, anyway, you can run the game at 1440p extreme settings, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Um, I'll run in here and attempt to fight. That didn't last long and that's probably for the best. Let's go ahead and go down to the ultra settings. See if that does any better for us. So 1440p ultra, don't worry, we will go down to 1080p soon. <laughs> but I think once we kick on DLSS and get these settings down, we will get some playable 1440p. Just, you know. 
going to take us a little bit to get the settings low enough, and we want to try them all out for the sake of comparison. Okay, there's those. Let's go ahead and switch on down to the balance settings. So, balance settings, 1440p native resolution. At least I got an assist, apparently. That's a bad guy. He got me. All right, let's go ahead and keep turning those settings down. We are down to the basic preset. And it looks like we're almost around 60 FPS now. Down around 50 again. So there's that. Um. See if I can catch him running around this way. It's a different guy. He's dead now. This guy behind here isn't there. That's a bot. Enemies, maybe? I have an almost playable frame rate. I, I should be able to get some fights now. Those are just bots. Don't don't be impressed. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, let's go ahead and kick on DLSS quality. Let's see if it does the annoying thing where it switches it over to... Yeah, look, it, it, anyway, as soon as I kick on DLSS, this goes to recommended, like, no matter what I do, so we're just going to allow it. Anyway, 1440p recommended, which might be the basic settings, I don't know. Um, <laughs> at DLSS quality, we're now actually getting a reasonable frame rate here, over 60 FPS, going up in the 70s. So see, you can play at 1440p on a uh, RTX 3050. You've just got to turn things way down and hope there's DLSS available. And we're still not getting, you know, super... Um, super high competitive frame rates. But kicking DLSS down to balanced might help with that. Let's see. Let me check if it actually kicked on. I think it did, but okay, yeah. Looks like it did. Is there, okay, there is a blue dot on that guy. Hard to tell sometimes. The blue dot doesn't seem to lower when, I, when they crouch, you know? I kind of feel like it should stay head level or give their body an actual like blue outline or something. I don't know. Guess yes my teammate got him. Got I got him. Alright. There's a guy. I probably should have got my health back before I re-peaked him. Oh well down to performance mode all right, DLSS performance mode at 1440p. Looking a little bit blurry now on that upscale. But feeling a lot smoother now up into the 80s. Can I... Okay, we're, we're not lasting long. Um, let's go ahead and drop things down to 1080p where I think they belong. All right, 1080p, let's go ahead and go to the extreme preset with DLSS off. So, 1080p, ex ah, it went back to, rec look at that, it went back to recommended. No, and now it's like freezing up as I try to change it. Come on, extreme, apply settings. Okay, let's check if it actually applied. Okay, good, it did. All right, we are at 1080p maximum settings, and unfortunately, it looks like we're not able to lock 60 FPS. We might be averaging 60 FPS, but we are certainly dipping below it at times. I've got to say, the uh, 3050 is a bit of an underwhelming card. Given its price, I should say given its price, it's a perfectly acceptable 1080p card. Like, you can play games at 1080p, to be clear. It is disappointing that this thing still costs almost $300. <laughs> uh, 
when you can get an RX 6650 XT for about that price these days. That's what's disappointing about the 3050. I think if it costs like maybe 199, <laughs> it wouldn't be a bad GPU. Maybe we'll get there someday. We shall see. Nvidia doesn't seem to be interested in lowering, lowering their GPU prices though. I think we had a recent quote from uh, Jensen Huang saying, falling GPU prices are a thing of the past. That was a bot. We'll use a UAV. Did I get behind all the enemies? Is that what happened? Hmm. I killed a gunner. Okay, they got me. All right, let's go ahead and go down to the ultra settings. All right, we're at 1080p ultra settings. Double check it actually applied since it's being annoying. Looks like it did. All right, now let's see if we stay, well, not quite. We saw at least 59 FPS for a, for a split second, but it seems like we're doing a better job of staying over 60 FPS the majority of the time now. Try to circle in a bit closer to these guys. Got him. It's a bot. Where are they at? There they at. I'm getting shot. Was that an enemy? No, that was a door. I don't know why I thought that was an enemy. Was there an enemy? I feel like there should be more enemies here. I guess I got behind them. It's a bot. Where are the real enemies at? Okay, we are going to run this way. Hey, my grenade got him. Can we go? Killed a couple of bots. I think there was an enemy here. That's a bot. Those are bots. That's a bot. That's a bot. That's probably a real player. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, let's go down to the balanced settings at 1080p. I think they saved. Let's double check. Yes, balanced settings, 1080p native. RTX 3050. I don't think I mentioned which... Um, which GPU cooler I have on this. This is the EVGA Black, I think it's called. Whatever their cheapest one is. I actually managed to get mine for MSRP. There was a brief few days where um, the 3050 was available on EVGA's website for its $250 MSRP, I think it is, right? Anyway, so I did manage to get that at least. Let's go down to the basic settings. See if they actually applied. Basic settings. All right, basic settings, 1080p. I'm gonna call in a UAV. Killed a guy. That's a teammate. All right. We're up in the 70 something FPS range. Oh, they got me. All right, that's as low as we can go without upscaling. So let's kick on DLSS quality. And let's check if it actually applied those settings. What, it change it to recommend it again, but I guess there's nothing we can do about that. We're at 100 FPS. Rendering below 1080p at the, well, I was gonna say basic settings, but Whatever these settings happen to be, possibly basic, possibly not. <laughs> a 
Let's see. Cleared the bridge. Look at us go. I'm gonna press this thing. Huff some gas. <laughs> I don't know what that does. I should probably read my loadout, but I've just been going with the same default assault loadout this whole time. Okay, let's go ahead and um, go all the way down to performance DLSS upscale at 1080p just to see what kind of frame rates we could actually push on this uh, RTX 3050. Looks like we're up over 110, well, 106. And we're still dead. Um, I don't usually test this out, but let's try out the minimum settings. The minimum settings apply a 50% render resolution. So this looks much worse than DLSS performance, as you can see. So you can see DLSS is a lot better than just turning down the render resolution. Um, and I guess that's the highest frame rates we can possibly get here. I got a kill despite barely being able to see that was an enemy due to the blurriness. I think there's an enemy there. All right, now just for fun, let's torture this thing uh, by going up to 4K resolution. So we're at 4K resolution. We're gonna go to the basic settings with DLSS performance. Okay, <laughs> let's see if that sticks. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, it went to recommended, whatever. It does it every time I turn on DLSS for some reason. Here we go. Hey, 50 something FPS. You know, it's playable. If it was a slow paced single player game on a variable refresh rate screen like this one, I wouldn't care too much, but yeah, not where I want to be for this type of thing. Let's try out the ultra performance mode. So we're 4K ultra performance at the recommended settings, which I tried to make be the basic settings. <laughs> it's possible this game is a beta. Got him. All right. Got him. Okay, what else could we do? Um, we could be less aggressive on DLSS. <laughs> so let's go to balance to DLSS. Into the mid 40s, it looks like, for the most part. And. What's there left to do? There, there was an enemy. Alright, we can go up to DLSS quality. So things are looking better and performing worse. So we've got that going for us. <laughs> Not every channel that's gonna torture a uh, RTX 3050 at 4K for you. And it was defeated. <laughs> I hope all of you have an excellent day.